Now, a simple thing we have to do, all of us, which is also sometimes not liked by people when I tell them, we have to take out our shoes because this Mother Earth is going to help us a lot. She is the one who is giver of everything, so we have to take out our shoes and touch the Mother Earth. You can keep your socks on with your both the feet. Put both the feet separately, because there are two powers, separately on the mother. Those who are sitting on the ground are all right as they are, they need not uh, put the feet like this, we can sit in a sahajasana, means in a way that is relaxed, not to put legs on, on top of another or anything, any stress on your body is not needed. You have to be comfortable to be straight, sitting straight, not putting your neck back or forward, just sitting straight, that's all. One promise has to be there in your heart that you will, after Realization, respect your Realization and grow like a tree and should not be the, like the parable of the seeds that some seeds fell on the rock and some who sprouted also got lost. I would request you very, very earnestly and with a great concern that you have to look after your Self-realization and your growth. As we do not take any money from anyone, we don't have very elaborate places or elaborate centers. So whatever is available is there for you, but that is God's place and you have to come there to get all the information, the knowledge about the Self. I hope we will not treat it with just a side issue, but the main object of your human asset. You don't have to pay for it, you don't have to do anything else. Moreover, we are all the time trying to save time, and that is why the time has to be spent, is being collective and enjoying the joy. May God bless you all. So, both hands have to be like this to begin with. This is because, as I told you, these are all sympathetic centers which are to be enlightened, first of all, so the information goes to the Kundalini that the Kundalini is to be awakened. This is first thing we have to do. Now, secondly, we have to facilitate the movement of the Kundalini, even if she's awakened. And for that, I will tell you how to put your hand into various centers, to the various centers, so that you can yourself facilitate. I would like one of you to get up and show us. Yeah. Now, Dr. Spiro will show you also, and I will also, that first you have to put your hand to your heart, where it resides. Now left hand towards me and right hand on the heart. Left hand towards me. Now, to your heart, and here resides the Spirit. We work only on the left hand side, because that is the side of our desire. I put the left hand like this symbolically, meaning, uh, uh, that this is the power of desire and we want to have our self realization expression of that. Now the second chakra is on the upper part 
of your abdomen, on the left hand side. This is the center of your mastery, by which the mastery over this power of love or divine vibrations you achieve and manifest through your being. It just starts working like through our eyes we can see the light. In the same way, once you become the master, you, be, you can feel, you can know everything about yourself and about others. Then you have to take down the right hand to the lower part of your abdomen. This is the one which is working out our pure knowledge, knowledge which is absolute and pure. This center is very important and by some unauthorized people, if some people have tampered it, we have to nourish it by putting our right hand towards it. Then again we go back into the upper part of the abdomen. Then we go back to our heart. Now here we go back to the left hand side of our neck, here, like this, from front. Many people try this side, no, you have to try from front and then turn your head to your right, like this. Now this center catches when we feel it and now I find quite a lot catching in this audience. So please, for the sake of your Self-realization, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself. Now, please now stretch your hand like this and put it on top of your forehead. This is the center of forgiveness. Here, and press it on both the sides like this. Now you have to take this hand on the back, rest your head on that, put the head up and then you have to take out your hand again and stretch it, like this, fully stretched. The center of your palm is to be placed on top of the fontanel bone area, you might bend your head a little, it would be better. Just there, which was a soft bone in your child, and you have to press your skull and move it about seven times slowly in a clockwise manner. That's all we have to do. But we must press it hard and the fingers must be pushed back nicely so that we can press our palm nicely. All right. That's all is to be done. Very simple. <coughs> now we have to close our eyes. Please don't open your eyes delighted because the attention will be attracted inside. And please. You can take out your glasses. The other day, one lady uh, was quite blind, I think, and she started seeing. I mean, you know, things happen like that. So I would request you to take out your glasses. It helps you. And you keep your eyes shut till I tell you, please don't open your eyes. It is how you are going to help yourself and also you will know how to all the time raise your kundal. It's a very simple method which I am telling you. Now, please put your left hand towards me like this. And right hand on your heart. Left hand towards me and right hand on your heart. Here. Now close your eyes. In the heart resides the spirit. So Please ask me a question within yourself, a very fundamental question. You can call me Sri Mataji or Mother, whatever you like. Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask this question. 
Whether am I the spirit is a very fundamental question you have to ask. Ask this question three times. Now, if you are the spirit, you are also your guide and master. So please put your right hand in the upper part of your abdomen on the left hand side, on your stomach on the left hand side and press it hard and ask a question here three times again. Mother, am I my own master? Mother, am I my own master? Mother, am I my own master? Ask this question in your heart. Now, we move our right hand, move it down into the lower part of our abdomen on the left hand side. Now, here, Please keep your eyes shut, please keep your eyes shut and don't move too much. Here you have to know that I respect your freedom and I cannot force you to have the pure knowledge. You have to say that you want it. So here you please say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge six times because this center has got six petals. So please say six times, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. With this asking, the Kundalini starts rising because she knows you want it. Now to facilitate her movement, we go back to the higher chakra and take our hand to the upper part of the abdomen on the left hand side and press it hard. Now, with full confidence, we have to say ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Say it with full confidence so the Kundalini will rise. Mother, I am my own master. Please say it ten times. This will correct your spiritual domination if somebody has dominated you spiritually, in the sense that they have decided you spiritually. I am my own master. Now, raise your right hand to the heart. Here recites the Spirit. So with full confidence, say twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. Have confidence in yourself. We have to know that the Divine is the ocean of love and compassion. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. And we cannot commit any mistakes which the Divine cannot forgive. So please forgive yourself. Forgive yourself fully and raise your right hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to the right. And here with full confidence, you say sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say, very important, and as I said, if you still feel guilty, you can punish yourself by saying it 108 times. 
you have to be presently placed towards yourself because you are going to enter into the kingdom of God. You have to love yourself and respect yourself. Sixteen times please say, Now, raise your hand uh, and put it on your forehead across. Put it on your forehead across. <coughs> this is the center of forgiveness. So please, here you have to say, Mother, I forgive everyone. <coughs> from your heart. You might say it is difficult, but it is a myth. Whether you forgive or you do not forgive, you do not do anything. But if you do not forgive, then you play into wrong hands. So to get over all the loads, you just say from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. It's not important how many times. Press it on both the sides. Now, take back your hand and put your hand on the back of your head and place your hand, uh, head on that. Move your head upward. Now here, for your own satisfaction only, without counting any mistakes or guilt, you can say, O oh Divine, if I have made any mistakes, please forgive me for your own satisfaction. Don't feel guilty about it. In a very pleasant manner. Now, Stretch your hand fully, push back your fingers and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanelle bowl in. And now start moving it very slowly, very slowly, clockwise, the scalp. Press it hard, push back your fingers seven times. At this point, I must say that I cannot force again the Self-realization upon you. I respect your freedom. You have to ask for it. So please say seven times, Mother, please give me my Realization. Give me my Self-realization. Or may I have my Self-realization. open your eyes very slowly. Now watch me without thinking. Let's see if you can do it without thinking. Just watch me without thinking. 
please put your right hand towards me. Right hand towards me like this. And the left hand above your head and bend your head and try to see if you are feeling any cool breeze from here. Bend your head, bend, bend it. Little higher. Some people get it very high. Very high they get it, some of them. Move it. High. Now, put the left hand towards me. Like this. Again, bend your head and see if you are getting a cool breeze in your head. Now, put your right hand towards me. Again, bend your head and see for yourself again if there's a cool breeze. Mm. Now, raise both your hands towards the sky and push back your head and ask the question three times. Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Mother, is this the Brahma Shakti? Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love? Just ask the question. Now put down your hands. Now please put your hands like this. You'll feel very relaxed and peaceful. In the hands also you'll feel a little cool breeze coming. Some people might feel in one hand, might feel in another hand. Some of them do feel that way. All those who are feeling the cool breeze on top of their heads or on their fingertips, please raise both your hands, both hands to be raised, those who are feeling it. Just imagine. Most of them have felt it. Imagine. Hardly very few have in fact. It's very easy for them also to feel it and if they want they can come up to the stage and people can look after them. They can feel it today, they should. And they will work out their Kundalini. Maybe a little help is needed. And it's very kind of you, all of you, to have received your Realization. I bow to all of you. I bow to all of you and I beg of you as a mother that please look after your self realization. Do not waste it. Those who haven't got it should not feel in any way uh, disturbed or upset. It's very simple. Maybe uh, a little time was needed more or whatever it is. I would request them to come on the stage for five minutes or ten minutes and they might get their Realization very well. May God bless. Also, if you want to come and meet Me, you can come on the stage. Uh, I would like to talk to you. Uh, so many! Now what do you want? The England, the whole England. Those who want to be, one by one, please. Those who are sitting on the ground are all right as they are. They need not uh, put their feet like this, they can sit. 
in a sahajasana means in a way that is relaxed, not to put legs on, on top of another or anything, any stress on your body is not needed. You have to be comfortable to be straight, sitting straight, not putting your neck back or forward, just sitting straight, that's all. You can keep your socks on with your both the feet. Put both the feet separately because there are two powers separately on the mother. Or elaborate centers. So whatever is available is there for you, but that is God's place and you have to come there to get all the information, the knowledge about the Self. I hope you will not treat it with just a side issue, but the main object of your human asset. You don't have to pay for it, you don't have to do anything else. Moreover, one promise has to be there in your heart that you will, after Realization, respect your Realization and grow like a tree and should not be the, like the parable of the seeds that some seeds fell on the rock and some who sprouted also got lost. I would request you very, very earnestly and with a great concern that you have to look after your Self-realization and your growth. As we do not take any money from anyone, we don't have very elaborate places. Now, a simple thing we have to do, all of us, which is also sometimes not liked by people when I tell them, we have to take out of our shoes, because this Mother Earth is going to help us a lot. She's the one who is giver of everything, so we have to take out our shoes and touch the Mother Earth.